Hey guys, MTG Noob here, bringing you a match with the red white poison deck. That's not right. The red white humans deck. There's the one. All right, it kind of sucks that we can't play the noble on one, but I think having this curve is more than worth it, um, even if we can't play it on one. Um, it's going to lose a lot of value, but it's going to be worth it, I would assume. Okay, we're just going to get Thalia out since our hand is all creatures. And it's going to be hard to kill this with, uh, like, even spells like Abundant Growth cost a lot now and things like that, you see. So that definitely slowed him down. Um, what we do have to worry about is a Bonfire of the Damned. So I'm going to just go ahead play this guy down and I'm going to pair them um, the reason I want to pair them now is I want to get as much damage in before a potential bonfire hits um, right now he can miracle it for one so it's not the greatest not the worst he probably still can tragic slip here um, I'm gonna go to combat since he might just kill one of my guys with like a tragic slip off a green source. Okay, so we'll hit him for two. And then I think we want to just overextend here. I don't think it's the greatest. Hmm, let's see. No, you know what? I'm not going to overextend just yet. I'm going to Brinstone his face. Put him in a nine. And then Hellrider off the top becomes pretty devastating. Like he, I'm almost assured he can kill this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we'll play a champion. I think we're going to try... Yeah, you know what? We're going to try this Micaeus for one. Um, it may be bad, but I'd rather have a 2-2 champion. Because a 2-2 champion can survive a Devil's Play. Um, and right now, we don't really... I, I mean, it sounds stupid, but we don't really care as much about the creatures in play as we do as just sticking this. Like, Borderland Ranger there is okay he's gonna get a land and if he's got a tragic slip he kills this that's fine okay so he has another devil's play which is totally totally fine by me I mean it's unfortunate that he has all those devil's plays but not much I can do about it I mean I could have taken a less riskier line but <clears throat> excuse me I guess we'll stick this through and see what happens okay so we're back and we hit our land here I promise you I'm trying to play it just my internet's just being a hater now we'll drop this Hellrider and we'll go in with just Hellrider and we assume he's gonna just block. I don't see how he just takes that there. Maybe he's got a bonfire where he can wipe my board or he's gonna just regrow one of his devil's plays. But I have another hell rider off the top basically and should be able to do some damage with it. <laughs> this noble is just rotting in my hand. I think playing the Micaeus there to get this to a 2-2 is pretty greedy because it didn't get it out of lethal range um, like he could flash this back and kill it still so I think that was a pretty big misplay I probably should have just waited and been patient and like played this out All right, so now he's got blockers maybe he has a resto angel if we go to combat here though we're like almost assuredly winning outside of him having a brimstone volley or a trick Yep. Combat it is. Alright, so it seems like we're playing against Jund. Um, 
So I definitely want this other Thalia, I would think. And he's just got a ton of removal and big dudes. Dudes with attitudes. I don't think I want these lightning maulers. I mean, they don't seem fantastic. I probably want the pilgrims over the maulers. And I think Micaeus just dies too easily. So I think we'll work kind of within these realms. I'm also tempted to cut the cloistered youths because I feel that they don't do that much. And maybe Elite Inquisitor is slightly better. They don't really, I mean, outside of Devil's Play, I don't think you bring this in still. And this is. This is protection from creatures, so not the greatest. I'm tempted to bring in Pillar of Flames to deal with his um, mana acceleration, but I'm going to leave it out for this match and, and see what happens. When you're playing against, like, Jund and they Miracle Bonfire, you're almost going to lose. Um, I'm going to keep this. I don't think it's great, but I think it's okay. I mean, there's some stuff in our hand that we can't really deal with. See, like, if I had a pillar there, it would be good. Oh, that's a good draw. That actually helps out a lot. I'll say vampire this time around. And now in this matchup, like, Stromkirk Noble is not as big of a blowout, but he's still pretty good because a lot of their early drops can't deal with him. See, like, that's a human. And it sucks that he's already at a point where he can probably deal with most of my threats. But what could you do? I mean, he's got his good start this game. We had our good start last game. I think I'm just going to play the Thalia instead of the gather here. I could play the gather on three if I really wanted to. But we shall see what happens. Alright, so I would think he's got Restoration Angel um, like a hundred percent. And if he does, that kind of sucks. I'm gonna go in here with both dudes. He might have Wolfier Avenger, but he doesn't have the mana for it. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, it's unfortunate if he has a Restoration Angel here. Okay. He has a way to deal with Thalia, which is unfortunate for us uh, because that was just a poor attack. Oh, look at that. He's got all sorts of technology. Yeah, I guess that was just a bad attack. I probably should have just swung with the noble there. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, Alright, we'll make a gather the town folk here. But that was kind of a blowout. If I would have just swung with this, I would have been in a lot better shape. Okay, I think at this point we just have to Fiend Hunter here. Because we just want to get things on the board. I want to just start getting some pressure in here. It's unfortunate that we have to Fiend Hunter that because if he kills it, then he gets a land. But we don't really have anything else. <clears throat> All right, well, that's fine. Okay, so we'll get in for five here. And we're not going to overextend with anything else. I can see us just dying to a anything. <laughs> We'll make the Fiend Hunter have it because, you know, he's got to deal with the Fiend Hunter. Um, 
and it has a higher toughness if he wanted a tragic slip this he must have had like all lands in hand and no gas and we would have just eventually got there next turn we would have just paired and then given it haste and then been crazy so we beat Jun but minor misplay um, by swinging in instead of just swinging with the noble and flood out on his end so definitely helped us get there so thanks for watching and please check out the mtgnoob.com 